everybody, welcome back to another episode of Warp Jester Does SMP on the Ball Rocket Gaming server. Sorry, it's been a while. Uh, just As always, I've said before, I have these little outages, so to speak, in terms of posting content. It's usually because i got real-world stuff to deal with, and this is no exception. Um, there is a little little bit difference here this time, I, I can also say. Uh, um, in addition to the usual life and family and whatnot, um, I've also been working hard on... Helping Turgo out with the development for the 1.7 mod pack, which is moving along swimmingly, as well as some playing on some new upcoming stuff I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so today's going to be another one of those wonderful walkie-talkie episodes. I'm going to try to get some some rudimentary cleanup here taken care of while I'm uh, filling you guys in, catching you guys up, and uh, hopefully we'll have more stuff coming out of the pipe. I actually do have plans. So I've, I've already recorded uh, a couple of episodes of a, uh, a new uh, game, well, new to me, uh, called Loadout. And it's a uh, first-person shooter. It's kind of like Team Fortress-esque, uh, but a whole lot more inappropriate. <laughs> so um, I'll be getting those posted. The video quality is not really good. I just switched over to uh, a new video player, which is the OBS uh, video player. I, I always use OBS for uh, streaming to um, uh, streaming to Twitch. But I've never gotten it to work right for uh, just general recording. Uh, quality's been craptastic, so I've never really given it much of a thought. Um, but I talked with BDA, and we jabbered a bit. And uh, um, I've gotten some things sorted out, and it actually seems to be working okay. So this is going to be my first real test pilot, so to speak, how it works. So, yeah, so that's new. <laughs> Yay. So I'll have those little episodes coming out uh, starting next week, I believe. Well, let me rephrase that. Starting the week that this video comes out on Friday. How about that? <laughs> you'll see loaded first, and then you'll see uh, uh, this come out. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're going to do a little cleanup around here. Um, fill you in on what's happening in the world. It's about time we got rid of this stuff. It's been a while. Goodbye, Steph. I love I love the box. I really do, but it's it's just it's been here forever, so... We're going to do a little uh, server cleanup and kind of get things taken care of. Um, so, uh, first things first, as I always say, um, let's have to take this down. We're just trying to get things cleaned out so we can actually make the server look nice. Um, we've been talking about uh, the new mod pack, and namely, in this case, we've been talking about the uh, uh, 1.7 Rock Gaming mod pack we've been uh planning out. Um, obviously, we're still in the planning phases of that. Our target date for release is uh, January 1st. It's a little, little bit off still. Um, but again, we're, we're not trying to rush out. We're not trying to you know, beat anybody to the punch or anything like that. We're not trying to be popular. I mean, I, I honestly really don't care. This, this mod pack is made for us, made for our server. Um, and the perk about it this time around, we actually do want to make it fully legit so that anybody can play if they want to. So if you guys are watching and have interest in it, you can, you can have fun with it. It's totally cool. Um, hello, Starfish. <laughs> um, so we've got uh, what, we, what we're calling the Alpha Core Pack already uh, put together, and we've had a little bit of time to test. I haven't had a lot of time to test as of yet. Um, but basically, it is the core mods that we're going to be having in our pack. What I mean by core mods, uh, we're talking about things like industrial craft, thermal expansion, build craft, uh, forestry, etc., etc., etc. These are kind of the old school, the well-known, the anticipated and expected old school mods that uh, everybody is used to using and having and playing with. So we've got those loaded, and the, the, the point and purpose here is to have a very limited avenue of mods to start with um, and specifically with these core mods make sure that they play nice together um, industrial craft uh, has had a like tremendous overhaul from its original uh, layout which is uh, I will say right up front long overdue long long overdue we've been needing to get uh, IC really really truly updated for a long time and they're, they're giving a real good overhaul a lot of new stuff a lot of uh, rework on how the mod works, um, adding a little complexity and, 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 and interestingness into it, which I really appreciate. 
Um, but uh, other things too, like thermal expansion is, is a complete rewrite, uh, rewrite as well. Um, so it's got a lot of new stuff, uh, new elements. And uh, I'm going to be taking this one down since it's now done. I just got to see what it takes to clean things up in here. Um, so we're going to be... Oh, good love of God. Uh, we're going to be... Uh, 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 working with these new mods to test them, make sure that they work right, make sure that they uh, um, uh, balance with each other. Make sure that things are, are truly balanced. Uh, there's been issues in the past with mods, especially the mod packs specifically, that uh, they they have their own take on what they think a mod should do or what the capacity should be, How basically how much effort it takes to to obtain, we'll say, for example, iron, or how much iron you can get from it, etc. And it, it, it becomes unbalanced when it doesn't make sense to use one mod because the other one's faster and easier. An example in this mod pack, for example, is uh, the Mine Factory Reloaded mod is just horribly out of whack. And I mean horribly out of whack with everything else. It, there really is no good logical reason to be... Um, Say, for example, using the forestry mod to grow trees, other than the few trees that will only grow that way, because the Mine Factory Reloaded uh, tree growing uh, is crazy. And look, look at this thing over here. I mean, this huge area of these trees has been taken care of by a single planter and, I think, two different harvesters. And look at it go. I mean, this thing is it's, it's, it's nuts. And it's totally out of balance. And this is even after... We try to add some uh, some moniker of balance by uh, doubling or quadrupling the power cost and uh, uh, bogging it down in terms of limiting the upgrades. There are no upgrades for this uh, for our mod pack, is because you go from a three by three up to I think eleven by eleven or thirteen by thirteen or something crazy like that. So. So yeah, so that's, that's a big deal for us. So the core mod, test, make sure it works, and then from there, we're going to uh, um, start adding all the peripheral mods we want to have. Basically all the all the user choice stuff people want to uh, uh, add to the uh, the mix. So that's what we're looking at. Um, we're going to have pretty much the testing phase for this mod pack for the for the alpha core for as long as we need to and, and, and there's no real set time to start adding the other stuff to it so we will be updating uh the tech it launcher with these updates periodically um if you're interested and in just kind of playing around with our alpha pack please bear in mind it is an alpha pack so you know bear in mind and uh uh yeah, you know, you're welcome to play with it and just, you know, be, be forewarned. There may be bugs or issues with it, and we may end up uh, adding something new that screws things up or flat out removing something that was in there for whatever reason. Um, so just bear that in mind. <laughs> uh, again, uh, target release date is going to be uh, January 1st. Uh, beta is going to be uh, December 1st. So it'll give us a full month to beta test and kind of go from there. So... That's that's the news on the mod pack front. We're moving along swimmingly and very much enjoying it. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, before anybody gets too upset here, yes, this is VSD slash RG slash uh, uh, uh place. But they have since moved, and you can see it's totally blank in here, uh, moved out. So I'm taking this down because we're trying to enlarge these lots and turn them into alternative lots. So in this case, we're going to have residential a uh, lot on this side, probably part of Bunny's or in segment to this one over here, which is the barn. I'll probably make it this whole thing one lot and make Bunny's a separate one. And then this one over here, once we get uh, Turgo and Heather moved out, it's going to become another commercial lot right next to the Canadian flag. So I have a commercial lot that goes from about there over. So this, again, we're just doing a lot, a lot of cleanup that we've been really overdue to do for a while. So getting, getting it done. Doing the work. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I said, Mod, mod Pack, really looking forward to it. Really excited about it. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I love this server. I love this Mod Pack, and I'll probably be playing on it a little bit um, even after uh, we get the new Mod Pack out. I, 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 I'll I be honest with you. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to be smitten 
like everybody else when it comes to uh, the new mod packs. I'm probably not going to spend a whole lot of time in here, but there are a few things I'm going to want to finish up being like, for example, the um, the power plant uh, cosmetically and uh, things like that. So, you know, we'll try to get some little details done just to, you know, make it make it finished. So we'll be looking forward to getting that done. Um, the other thing we talked about, I kind of presented is, is other options or other uh, things coming up, and those things are uh, events calendars for Ball Rocket Gaming. This is making me very excited. So this is what I've been sucking a lot of my time into. Is uh, we are actually going to be having a series of events in uh, the month of November, uh, namely for the first three, possibly four weeks of November, we're going to be uh, doing mini game events for uh, uh, Ball Rocket. Uh, gamers and uh, close friends and family, uh, so to speak. Uh, other YouTubers like the Cranky Craft uh, crew and uh, some other select people we know. Uh, mini games such as uh, a lot of Seth Bling stuff like um, uh, Pizza Spleeve, Building Game, Super uh, Craft Brothers. Um, oh God, what else we have? I'm trying to think of what else we have? I, I, I've got like five different games I've downloaded. Uh, so we're going to set up a server with that. Uh, that stuff, and we're going to be uh, uh, going through and uh, playing those games uh, again for the first uh, three or four weeks, depending on how popular how many people can get on. Uh, probably three or four weeks. Um, now, the last week of November, November's offset just right, we actually have five weekends in November. Uh, the last weekend in November, we're going to be having a Bottle Rocket. Uh, server open house and what this is we're actually going to open up our world here uh to anybody who wants to jump on and join us so we'll be spending the day um both saturday and sunday and this is again it's going to be november so it's going to be uh november 29th and 30th we're going to be uh hosting our open house so if you are interested in uh joining us and checking out the server firsthand and meeting the uh guys and gals of Barak gaming you are certainly welcome to uh, uh, hit us up. Um, we are not going to have any restrictions on age or anything like that. You don't have to be a YouTuber. This is quite literally a blacklist only, open house, come have fun, join us uh, event. Um, the one stipulation is we do need to vet you in terms of just making sure you have your... Uh, your player name and all that. So you are going to have to get signed up on the Ball Rocket Gaming website. It's ballrocketgaming.com. Uh, and just head over there and get signed up on the website. Do a quick post to say hi while you're at it. Just, you know, say, hey, just join to, you know, be ready and eligible to jump on the server with you guys. So again, we'll be for uh, both uh, the 29th and 30th. We'll have VRG uh, members, um, on the server as much as we can for the full day. Um, we're not going to do 24 hours or anything like that. We're not that nuts. <laughs> um, but we will have uh, a bevy of uh, BRGers on and uh, um, happy to take the opportunity to, to talk with you and jib-jabber a bit and uh, just uh, you know, shoot, just shoot the shit with you and, uh, pardon me, <laughs> and uh, uh, just get a chance to uh, meet and greet. Kind of thing you expect. So... Again, another thing to look forward to, and uh, we will be uh, looking. Actually, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I get a chance to meet some of the peeps that watch the videos. So, definitely, definitely going to be a fun thing. Um, so that that that's that's the real big thing right now. Is I, I'm kind of split my time between trying to do a little uh, a testing and, and and brainstorming with Turgo on the mod pack and getting that move forward. And then uh, uh, doing this uh, event calendar planning, so my my, my dance card's been pretty full. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's that's where we're basically at here. Um, I will have details on the events and statuses, everything we talked about. You know, I I do try to post some details on the actual Ball Rocket. Uh, gaming website. So again, if, if you're interested and and want to kind of get the inside scoop on what's going on in our world and and what what Ball Rocket is doing, I, I really do encourage uh, just go ahead and hit the website, get signed up real quick, just so you can poke your nose in, say hi, say how things are going, give us input. 
um, we do try to be active and, and jabber a bit on the website and, and reply or respond to people's uh, um, comments and whatnot. So uh, don't be shy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, jump on there and uh, check us out. Uh, so yeah, yay for fun stuff. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot of plans too. I, I've been watching a lot of the uh, tutorials and gameplays with a lot of the new mobs, mods. Bleh. And uh, I, I am so intrigued. I, I'm. I, I can't even decide what I'm. What I'm more enthralled with or infatuated with so far. Uh, I, I'm. I'm really curious about industrial craft too. There's a lot of cool little changes and tweaks they've done to it, and I, I'm intrigued because, as, as you guys may have picked up from prior conversations, you know, we originally uh, uh, had added uh, Greg Tech to this mod pack we wanted something a little more challenging and that's definitely proved to be more challenging but the bigger challenge of it was dealing with greg's ass hattery with not letting us use his mod on tech it and just the usual the the the, the drama you've heard about with uh with greg um it, it's it's not been pleasant so we're definitely dropping greg tech as i know before but uh more so um uh Industrial Craft 2 has gotten a little more, a little more complexity to it. Not like Greg Tech level craziness, but there is a little more process to things, which I really appreciate. I, I don't think things should be that easy, especially with automation. Yes, automation should make things easier, but I want to make sure that there's some still some challenge and worth to building up that automation, not just you know one day's worth of sitting down for the day and you're already at you know insane levels of capacity. It doesn't really work like that. I don't want it to. So, yeah. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that. So, that's definitely a top contender. Um, there's a lot of other mods like uh, uh, extra utilities and, and I think open blocks. Um, they have a lot of extra stuff they've added in, little, little fun things. And those those are definitely of interest to me. But the whole mod as a whole, it, it, it's you know, a mod we've already had. And we're adding more to it. Um, the other mod that I'm really interested in. Really, really interested in is in fact uh, the uh, AE2 mod that has got me all kinds of giddy. Um, God dang it, stupid creeper talk or uh, Turgo's pet creeper over there is still trying to web people. Um, AE2, if you haven't seen any of the demos or little sneak peeks or whatever. Um, oh my dear God, go look them up right now. Uh, Bevo has done a really good few few different little sneaky peeks at uh, AE2. Direwolf and uh, Soren both are, are working with it now on the uh, Forgecraft server. Um, holy crap, it is night and day different. All, everything I've done, everything I've done in that 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 uh, data center over there, is null and void. All my knowledge and understanding of everything is completely just poop out the window because AE is completely rewritten from ground up, totally different. Which it just absolutely makes me giddy because again, it adds more complexity, and more intricacy to it, which I love because it makes you think a little harder and work a little harder, which I just absolutely adore. So. Ah uh, yes, we need to get rid of the uh, flag here. I've, I've, I've already, I've already asked talks. I've he says okay. He said yes. So please don't go running over the Texas Channel and, and whining how horrible an American I am for taking down the uh, Canadian flag. Canadian Day is over. It's time to move on, people. <laughs> you don't see me leaving my Christmas tree out. <laughs> and yes, I did say Canadian because I can. So there. <laughs> Um. Yes, I. I just. I. The AE system is completely, just, completely day different. A lot of the stuff they have, they've got. Uh, for example, cables now have a channel limit. Channels. You think in terms of like a computer. Um. There's only so much, how many channels or basically lines where you can shove data down them, kind of a thing. So cables now have channel limitations. There's some cables can do, I think. Like eight channels, some can do thirty-two channels. Um, you have to be careful. You have to manage your channels carefully. You don't want to basically overload your lines. You have, to, you have to run another cable, otherwise things won't work. And what constitutes as being a channel used is anything 
uh, input output bus, a redstone emitter, uh, even the uh, crafting squares, the crafting interfaces. Uh, the, uh, these guys right here, which are completely different, by the way, these all use a a uh, a line. So if I'm working with you know this just what I'm sitting in front of right now, for example, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. That if I'm running a single line from these guys to the controller way, way back over at the uh, data center, I'd be boned because you've got all of these guys and that's already eight channels, but then you've got uh, all these guys right here. And you also have all of the input-output buses over here. So I have to run all these lines all the way back there. I mean, I, there's, there's a good chance I even have more than 32 here. So I have to run multiple lines back or use a... Uh, I forget what they call it, but basically there's a, there's a um, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like an input output bus like this guy, but it actually takes in data input from other lines. So you can actually create a AE system and then feed those lines into one of these import buses. So one line is carrying the data from a, an eight pack. I, <laughs> forgive me, hard to explain, easy to see if you actually watch the videos, but they also have uh, fluid transition planes, uh, you know, uh, input output buses. You also have redstone input output buses. So you can you can traverse basically almost anything through there. So God, you know, so much to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, so craziness, absolute craziness. All right, so that's a little cleanup over here. We got that cleaned up. Uh, oh, I need to take this down real quick here. Um, yeah, so I mean, a lot of exciting stuff going on, guys. A lot of exciting stuff. And I just, I cannot stress this enough. I am so looking forward to what's coming up here because we got, you know, the mini game events. We've got the uh, open house. We get to actually do meet and greets with you guys. Um, you guys can come on the server and actually see the things firsthand. So, yay, that's going to be fun. Um, uh, we've got uh, the new mod pack. It's getting fleshed out. Um, oopsie. That was not what I want to do. Uh, we've got... Uh, oh, God, what else? Um, uh, me and Tox have got uh, working plans tomorrow to do some recording um, on uh, some computer stuff he's working on, uh, possibly some Railcraft or forestry stuff we've been wanting to get to. And uh, we are going to be bringing back... The Teaching Talks Techs, uh, <laughs> Teaching Talks Tech uh, video series. Uh, we kind of dropped off on those. Life got busy, um, but we are going to be bringing those back. So yay, we're going to have uh, uh, the Teaching Talks Techs. We're going to do them on Tuesday, so it's going to be Teaching Talks Techs. Teaching Talks Tech on Tuesday. <laughs> teaching, teaching Talk Techs Tuesdays. That's when we release them. So, <laughs> it's tongue booster to say the least. Good Lord. The four T's. Uh, we're going to be getting into uh, uh, Industrial Craft 2 Miners, which I'm really looking forward to because uh, the miners are kind of the unknown entity that people don't realize exists. They are super cool, awesome ways to mine without destroying your land. I can I can drop a miner right here in the middle of town and it just makes a one by one hole, but it clears um I think it's a nine by nine area of anything valuable. And valuable is defined by what's in the configuration file which I can adjust so I can make sure it picks up all of the specialty ores and whatnot from all the other mods. So it's it's completely customizable in that sense. Um so great way to do cleanup in areas and not uh not mess up the uh, areas. I didn't put a little hole in the ground. So, yay for that. Well, if I, well, I'm, while I'm here, I must do a quick check on everything. One of the things we always do is we check uh, three things, three important things here. One is power. We've got our little uh, indicators here. Make sure you know, things run smoothly, which they're all green. Yay. Uh, we also check the uh, trains. Uh, since we've had problems in the past with trains hanging, sticking, whatnot, uh, we really haven't had much, actually, issues at all as of late. Uh, knock on wood. Uh, <laughs> um, the train's been running really well. We did resolve the issue in the parkade, uh, namely with these um, these tracks would not update, so they'd stay dark, even though they're getting supplied power. And the simple solution was we dropped down these um, receivers right here, and uh, when the train comes in, these receivers are linked to the incoming line here. And when they change state from green to red, 
that's actually considered a block update. And so that block update triggers these tracks. So basically the trains reset these rails, these uh, holding tracks, when they come in. So it's a basically self-repairing system. So got that resolved. Oh, there comes one. It's a slow train. Filled to the gills as usual. Um, right now we're just running the trains over to uh, Forestry and over to uh, Bees. Rourke's Town has effectively been uh, shut down or gone dormant since he's not running it right now. Um, I wouldn't mind getting the trains just rotating through there anyway, just to keep it busy so we can keep testing our rails. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, I do have plans. I'll just give you a quick, a quick little peekaboo here. Oh, I need to check the DXN real quick. Woo! Almost forgot the third thing. So, yeah, we check uh, power, turbines, make sure the turbines are good. We check the uh, rails, make sure the trains are running. And we check the data center because we have been gulping things down. As you can see how my data center is, a whole bunch of these are all getting filled up. And we are down to, whoa, wow, we're getting really full here. Good heavens, how's my last row doing? Okay, yeah, we're going to add some more uh, hard drives. Whew. You can see all these lights are red. There's a few green here. That's that's good news. We still have some room. Um, yeah, so, um, lost my train of thought here. <laughs> my train of thought has derailed. Um, yeah, so we R uh line, um, I said we've kind of shut it down because he hasn't been active, but I'm actually going to be doing some, uh, reconfiguring here since we have Rourke's, uh, line coming straight down. He actually changed, uh, I don't know if I ever told you this, he actually changed things. The line used to run through here and out that way. He decided to run straight from his place. So right to the barreling input of his place, he ran it straight through. So he completely ran all new lines, straight line through. So I figured just for simplicity's sake, I'd go ahead and, and extend that on through. So we've got this little roundabout here, which goes straight down the town. And then it goes straight on through. And it actually goes all the way out to the north line. So it's going to connect here and then head out down that way. And the reason for that is all this hanky-panky screw-up stuff right along here is going to get taken out. So trains are now coming from Forestry to get to Hub. They're going to go up the north line. And then the uh, uh, east line here is going to be coming off the north line. And for them, they're just going to take a little, quick little jaunt down the east line and then head south into the Hub, hub Town line, the main town line that comes off of it right there. So uh, lots of... Lots of little changes. Oh, also, I did this little bit of terraforming when I was kind of taking downtime, just, you know, spending time when I had time to actually play but didn't have time to record. Uh, you'll see the river actually used to run through here and around here, and meander back through here, and it actually went through here, rounded back across here, and then came back out and so on. Well, I decided to change things around a little bit, and I just went ahead and smoothed it out a little bit. So it comes back around here. gets a little wide because of our little parkade down there. And then it wraps back around. So this is all me terraforming. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, put the uh, that uh, coarse sand or uh, hardened sand back over to clean it up. Run it straight on through here and kind of straight out again. So I'm kind of smoothing things out a little bit, straightening the river out, just cosmetically. It also gave us um, all this chunk of land right here is going to be expanded out. This is going to be all filled in. So this gives us more industrial space. So the industrial space is actually going to take up you know this big area here as well as, you know, if we want to run roads around here, we can, or, you know, whatever. So, gives a little more room there, and it also gives us a little more room right here for the uh, rail yard. So, this, this side of the rail yard is going to be the service and maintenance, and we're um, working on doing a uh, coal and uh, water refueling, or uh, uh, topping off right here. So, uh oh energy, no! Um... So we're going to be taking care of all of that and uh, hopefully getting that fleshed out before the end of the year. <laughs> like I said, once we get a new mod pack up, I'm sure those going to want to stay on here. Let's go ahead and charge up while we talk. All right, so that is the news. That's what's going on right now. Um, again, I've got a couple episodes of Loadout that will be coming up. Please be advised, unlike my channel normally, I try to keep swearing to a minimum when all possible. I had a little slip tonight, but yeah, they usually try to keep it clean. Uh, loadout is a complete exception to that. It is a inappropriate uh, uh, visually. <laughs> uh, graphics are a little crass, a little gory, a little bit inappropriate uh, uh, from the adult standpoint. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, Swearing, it, it, it was 
no holds bar for me, BDA, and Toxic. We we didn't we turned off our filters and had some fun. So please be advised if you are underage, I do not recommend the loaded loadout series. Um, so just kind of show away from that. <laughs> um, and again, um, I've got plans to do some recording with Tox here for a couple of special episodes, as well as uh, uh, we're kind of lining out our schedule to get back into uh, doing. Uh, some train work, some forestry builds, which is going to be a new thing we're going to be starting, as well as um, uh, teaching talks techs, teaching talks tech Tuesdays. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll say that. Um, so look forward to those. And then starting in November, we are going to be doing recording of these mini game events as I talked about. Um, and again, um, for at least some of the maps I've downloaded the uh, the Seth Bling maps, um, namely the specifically the maps are Supercraft Brothers, uh, Blocks vs Zombies, the Building Game, and Pizza Spleef. I also picked up one called uh, Temple Defense, uh, which is a kind of uh, kind of like uh, uh, Seth Bling's uh, um, Blocks vs Zombies, but different format, different layout. But you have waves of zombies, kind of like uh, Tower Defender, uh, more like that. So uh, look forward to those. And then again, in the end of uh, November, we're doing the open house where you can come join us and be on the YouTubes and meet and greet with us and take a tour around the place. So we'll be hanging out uh, free jetpacks and uh, let you guys poke around a bit. So hooray. Uh, as always, certainly do appreciate your time sitting down with me. It is always a pleasure to get a chance to put videos out. Again, I'm so very sorry I've not had a regular schedule. And, you know, when I have time like now, I will do it. And I'll try to be as consistent as possible. I'll try to push, you know, because it's a little longer each time. But I know things are going to come up. Um, um, I actually, uh, on a real world note, uh, me and my wife are expecting number four. I have three kids already. I'm insane. I know. And we've got a fourth one on the way. So uh, about seven months from now, I'm going to be even more busy. Hooray. <laughs> um, so, but as again, uh, whenever you have the time to join it, I appreciate it. I do love doing these videos. Um, I, I certainly, I'm not here to try to make popular or, or be the top dog in, in YouTube or even to make a profit off of this. This is a hobby for me and I really do enjoy doing it. And I also enjoy the feedback. So if you have feedback and, uh, in any form, I will take it. You can go ahead and hit the like or dislike button. That's fine. <laughs> um, there are there are comments down below. You can leave a comment. But as I always say, if you really want to have a dynamic conversation, I really encourage you actually go to the BallRocketGaming.com website. Get signed up there and post there because that is the place where I check most often and tend to have you know recurring conversation or back with conversation with people. So... Definitely check out that. And of course, as I always say, if you're interested in joining a Minecraft modded server and you have interest in this server, you are certainly more welcome to go over to the BarrockGaming.com website and apply. Uh, uh, and we will talk with you and get to know you a little bit. Um, you do not have to be a YouTuber to join us. However, uh, we do try to be very, very specific with people we add. This is a highly community-based server. As you can see, we've got all the cities and whatnot. People do projects together. Um, and it means you really have to be able to mesh well with personality and kind of be on board with the whole idea of, uh, of helping out and doing projects. Whether we're helping you with your ideas or you're helping us, that you know, whatever. Um, so don't, don't be upset if you don't get picked, kind of a thing. Um, but if you happen to have you know, things you've posted to forums, videos you've done, pictures you've taken of projects you've done, those are kind of a big help. Not, again, it's not, there's no magic minimum requirement. It's going to be a guaranteed yes. We just want to get a chance to talk with you. So jump on, sign up, uh, and, and we'll talk. So thank you so much, guys. Have yourself a great night. Bye! <laughs>